Hello, we are asking an intriguing question today. Who is Coco Ninja Mama? A woman with a heart of gold or a pathological liar, narcissist and a bully? Welcome to BMG. Please support us by liking, following, subscribing and sharing our channel. Thanks for joining us today. How are you doing? Okay, today we are creating a profile on Coco Ninja Mama. For those who doesn't know, she is also called Esther Asaka Abu and she built her YouTube channel off of the back of Apostle Suleiman and Stephanie Otober's 2017 saga. She did daily reviews on Hamadan and Ma'a months after Stephanie came out to apologize claiming she was paid by politicians to set up the Apostle, though we now know better. Currently, Coco Ninja Mama has become the topic of discussion. She allegedly took money from the Apostle to bear information about him and stop talking about him on her channel. Her husband also called her out, accusing her of infidelity and cruelty. Um, Suleiman's ex-house aide, Amos, also called her out for refusing to pay back the money she took from him when she came to Dubai to celebrate her birthday. These revelations were done on Maureen's channel, GIO TV, after several other YouTubers refused to handle the story. Hmm, shady. Coco Mama's brother also came on Maureen's show to narrate how Coco Mama's actions or inactions led to their mother's death. He spoke on Coco Mama's character and revealed lots of unpleasant things about her. Now, lots of people have already reacted to this saga, so we won't necessarily go into the entirety of what has happened. Rather, we would examine Coco Mama's action while addressing what was being said about her to create a profile on who she is. Coco Mama has come up with loads of inconsistent information on her channel. She accused Maureen of not contacting her to get her side of the story. Um, one of her defense was Maureen should have contacted her to get her side of the story before running with the story. In my opinion, Maureen owes Coco Mama no responsibility to call her to get her side of the story. Coco Mama has done several stories without reaching out to the parties involved to hear their side of the story, so why should she be given special treatment? Her self-entitlement is attached to her overinflated sense of self-worth, which actually played out on worship media, where she tried to control the interview. She arrogantly refused to answer specific questions and was ready to fight should Dr. Chidi overstep by saying things she didn't want to hear. Hmm, that's actually one of the traits of a narcissist. Coco Mama and her supporters, please take several seats. You have no morals. The lack of integrity you have shown, including those calling out Maureen for not contacting Coco Mama before running the story, is choking. How many of you call those you are talking about to check the validity of your story before running it? Lack of integrity has prevented you lot from stating the truth about Coco Mama. Encouraging people to follow your channel doesn't make her a good person. Actually, her actions have shown she is a pathological liar, a narcissist, a bully, and a blackmailer. Let's address this one after the other. Pathological liar. Coco Mama claimed Maureen was having an affair with her husband. She made up this sub story to persuade her followers to sympathize with her. She claimed she had proof of the affair, which she knew was all a lie. She spent hours on her channel saying all sorts of untruth and none of her supporters called her out on it. She made so many allegations and she was at ease lying without remorse. I am not a psychologist, but this right here suggests Coco Mama is a pathological liar. On Worship Media's interview, Coco Mama claimed her greatest regret was to get involved with Amos, saying someone that can record someone that housed him must be a devilish person. How about Coco Mama? You also told Amos and the brother to record their conversation after the apostle paid them and they went to the guy that brought the money to receive apostle's call. Remember? In that audio, everyone can hear you telling them to ensure the record and send to you. You seem to be talking from different parts of your mouth, honey. Is Coco Mama a narcissist? Yes, she is a narcissist. 
Coco Mama's excessive need for attention, an inflated sense of self-importance and lack of empathy indicate narcissistic traits. She berated Maureen on her channel stating that Maureen is jobless and would stay on the same issue for donkey years. Madam, you were on a live broadcast for seven hours. So how are you different from Maureen? When you started your channel, you spoke of Apostle Johnson Suleiman non-stop. How is that different from what Maureen is doing? You critique Maureen for what you are guilty of. Why is it okay for you but not okay for the other person? Coco Mama seemed to be carried away by her physical beauty. Yes, you are beautiful. Fine girl, no pimples. May you remain young forever. Nobody is in contention with you regarding your beauty. But you seem to be carried away and you carry on like the evil queen in Snow White. Your self-worth seems to be tied to your physical appearance because that is majorly what you talked about while addressing this issue. Your malevolent ego was being fed by your callers calling in to egg you on. You also claim Maureen is trying to use you to blow as the mention of your name brings her view. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, you are having a laugh, fam. When Maureen goes live, she has up to 1.7 people watching her, while you have less than 400. So who is using who to blow? <laughs> you are such a joker, babe. Hands down, Coco Mama is a bully. If she isn't, she would have constructively addressed what Maureen presented on her channel. Instead, Coco Mama attacked her by body shaming her, making inappropriate and harmful comments about Maureen's weight and appearance. To put it mildly, Coco Mama was bold enough to come on YouTube to call Maureen a fat pig with grey hair all over, and her supporters saw nothing wrong with this. They sat and watched her without reproving her. She went on to humiliate Maureen using all kinds of words, vulgar language, calling her everything anything vulgar you can think of coco mama called maureen a woman that is comfortable enough to sit in front of a camera and speak such words about a fellow woman like her is toxic and uncultured now there's a woman on youtube she goes by the name rose uzoma i think that's her channel name yeah this woman made a video where she claimed maureen might be using um coco mama's name to blow no auntie you are wrong maureen is not using coco mama name to blow if anything you rose Uzoma, you are the one using coco mama's name to blow because i've gone through your your videos and your highest views are on the videos you did about supporting coco mama now you've seen everything coco mama has said so far according to you you watched her videos and yet you did not really come out to reprimand Coco Mama. When you came out to talk about Coco Mama, you were kind of mild, you know, very cautious. But when it was time for you to give it to Maureen, you went all out. If you cannot be unbiased, then maybe you shouldn't say anything. If you cannot actually give a constructive analysis of what you've seen, maybe you should not say much, Auntie yeah thank you moving on yes i also called maureen uh, sorry i also called coco mama a blackmailer in the chaos of this drama the true meaning of blackmailer has been lost according to the cambridge dictionary a blackmailer is supposed to be someone who threatens to tell a harmful secret about another person in order to try to force them to do something in all of this situation no other person have sent a message out threatening to reveal anything. The only person that constructed a text message or a message and sent to another person is Coco Mama. The text message Coco Mama sent to Lizzie Suleiman, the wife of Apostle John C. Suleiman, clearly fits this bill. The text has criminal intent. Someone with a good heart. Someone that is inherently good couldn't have sent such a text coco mama your criminality also made you publish maureen's full address on youtube do you know what you're really doing darling 
Has anger blinded you so much that you're willing to break the law to soothe your ego? The worst thing you can do to me right now is to insult me. What can you say? What can you do more than insults? That's it. Well, chances are you will not say this anyway. Please don't say it because you've got a filthy mouth. Yeah. Anyway, you might also claim I'm trying to use you to blow. Well, if I get some followers from this, fine. If I don't, fine. I really don't care. I'm new. I'm starting out. The sky is the limit for me. However, I just want to set the record straight. He who lives in a glass house should not throw stones. Everything you've claimed Maureen is doing now, you have done it over and over and over. You even make use of clickbait, where your the title of your video is different from what is actually in the video. So come on. If you're going to call out a thief, make sure you're not a thief yourself. Don't you think? The Rose Uzo woman kept saying Maureen is a mother, Maureen is a mother, Maureen is a mother. Nebiko, is Coco Mama not a mother? What is she? She's also a mother like Maureen. And you heard everything Coco Mama said. Is that what a mother should say in public? You came out to reprimand Maureen. You went hard on Maureen, claiming Maureen should have settled the differences between Coco Mama and the husband. But you've forgotten Maureen is not a marriage counselor. You have Blessing CEO for that. Why didn't you call Blessing CEO to come settle them? Maureen is just a content creator, a YouTuber. She's not a psychologist. She's not a therapist. Let's get the narrative right, please. Anyway, till next time. Ta-ta.